Hello everyone, today we're going to replace a screen for HP ProBook 450 Go model. This one takes slim version, 15.6 inch LED or LCD, does not matter. Uh, it has to have 40 pin, okay? So 40, 40 pin, 15.6, slim one, okay? So first of all, what we need to take out uh, is a very standard way. We need to take out the front bezel which is secured with two screws screws not on the top on the right bottom okay so we'll take it out first with any standard Phillips screwdriver okay sometimes it doesn't come out all the way just leave it like that and then another one we need to take out which is hinge cover sometimes we need to push it from the bottom that's another case as you can see now it will come out yeah okay so as you can see this one has a little two knobs in here so if you don't unlatch it then you can take it out so first one is done let's see second one what is the condition okay yeah. also you can take out from the bottom that's really good okay so both of them already been out now we're gonna pull out the bezel from the front it's very simple drag all the way from top to bottom don't worry the click noise it doesn't mean you broke anything okay. and you need to be careful because they use some kinds of adhesive at the bottom okay so if you see it doesn't come out don't pull it too much because you're gonna break the LCD connector so what you can do you can take a kind of flat plastic like that or yeah that's the thing here you can use plastic card to make a segregation in between to the adhesive and the bezel right again we need to make the gap now it's a bit easy now yeah that's how simple it is so now this screen secured with four screws two on the top two on the bottom one By the way, this one cost me 45 pounds to get it from Amazon. Might be some places they sell it cheaper. In between 30 pin and 40 pin, the price difference is almost more than 15 pounds, which is impressive. Okay, so when you pull it out, okay, make sure you put extra support with your thumbs from the left hand to the webcam flex okay if you don't then it might make a tear in between the flex and the camera okay so the 40 pin is on left hand side which is secure with a cello tape or adhesive Let's pull it out gently and then as you can see there is a latch it's already unlatched now I always like to pull it out from the bottom I mean from the back instead of from the front you see like this that's the easiest way otherwise you're gonna damage some kind of ribbon I've been wearing inside okay so that's the one already been taken out which one has a lot of shutter do you can see black mark I think somebody punched on it might be he was very angry so Let's take the another one. So this is the replacement. As you can see, the physically it's almost same on the left hand side. The connector is uh, four screw holes, two on the top, two on the bottom. And by the way, we'll just make sure which model they use it. So this is the original one, 
they use LTN 5156-8030 okay so LTN 156 that's mean 15.6 rest of the model it depend on what kind of LCD they will support so make sure for your one you must need to check it before you place any order because all the 15.6 doesn't match and sometimes it doesn't support mostly it happened with Dell laptop okay so let's connect it and see what happened by the way the battery is 0% so I didn't take out the battery because I know it's 0% there is nothing left over I'm gonna put the tape on the place Here. Okay, seems here. Seems on place. Now let's pull the pull the screw. That's the way I always like to put in crossway. So even if you don't have four screws, you just give the same support. Three. I dropped on the wall. Here's the another one. Four. So now we need to test it finally if it does work or not. Yeah, so it's brilliant. It does work. I don't see any dead pixel. Everything is fine. It's crystal clear. Nothing wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off and finish. Uh, one second. Let's check. Just a second. Just, uh, this hinge cover, what I'm gonna do, I'll try from the back and see if it goes in. Okay. First, I need to find out which one is for right and which one is for left. Okay, because the silver color goes to the bottom example yeah this is the one for right this is the one for left this one first okay so before you put the front bezel what you need to do we need to take out this Otherwise, that's kind of a pain. Sometimes it goes inside the frame and you can't take it out. Fine. Let me take this. first just to secure the bottom it's really kind of a pain sometimes it's gonna be fine yeah it is yeah, it's connected now let's close it <laughs> As you can see gap here. Yeah. Same is fine. Yeah. Brilliant. 
So finally, let's check if everything is fine because I did press in the frame. Okay. okay. It is fine. So that's how you change screen for ProBook HP ProBook 450 Go version. Again, 15.6 inch, 40 pin, slim version. So if you have any question regarding screen replacement for this model or something else, you can leave a comment below. And I hope you do like this video. If you do, then please subscribe my channel. Then you can have some future videos. Thank you so much. Bye for now.